Oh, what the hell? There's a whole whole There's a whole Hey, stop shooting at me, boy. Hello guys, what's going on? Hope you're having a good week. How to set best performance in Stalker. Now this is going to be a video that is pretty basic so if you have a lot of knowledge about computers and graphics and etc etc you probably know how to tweak stuff. This video is not for you. This is going to be for the people that have a, a not so strong system, don't play the game that often, just casual gamers and people that, that just want to have some better performance and don't know what all the settings do. So. Um, now, first of all, this is going to be for all the Stalker games. Not just Stalker Misery, Call of Pripyat, no, this is also for the previous Stalker ones. Uh, Stalker runs on the X-Ray engine. X-Ray engine is an older engine, it's not supported anymore. GSC is, um, is dead, sadly. The developers uh, uh, ceased to exist. Um, and it's an engine that doesn't use CPUs that much. Uh, my 8 core at the moment is only using 15%. Now, um, what this means is you can have a 16 core, very high clock CPU, but it only will use a little, little bit of power. That is that that sucks, but that's just because the engine is not uh, supported anymore, and, and 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 technology goes forward, and uh, yeah. So, uh, what do I recommend? kind of system that you should have well this game leans more towards a single threaded uh, a good strong CPU so I would say an Intel CPU that is uh, has a good single threaded performance you, you will get the most probably out of stalker now uh, what's also really good is have a high clocked CPU uh, like the effects from AMD that if you have a high clocked CPU that's also really good um, now secondly your GPU of course is the most important so if you have a strong and fast GPU you should be pretty good to go to run this game on on well high or maximum settings depending on your resolution now first of all you have your render types here this is basically your your AP your graphical AP DirectX 10 DirectX 11 or just static lightning um, if you have bad performance you want to tweak this first and see these options and what they do and how how big of the change it is so, and you want to pick the one that gives you the best performance and the best quality so you go ahead and look look at uh, at that and uh, if I would switch to static lightning my FPS would, would jump hugely now quality settings this is this is basically the the, 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 the the general quality settings for all the things but we're gonna we're gonna go to advanced and set this ourselves now Thirdly, you have here resolution. Resolution is very important for the render uh, quality of the image, which um, uh, is important for uh, your frame rate as well. So if you set this to a lower resolution, you will have much more better performance and better FPS. So you can see here I'm, 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 I'm running now in Ifinity um, dual monitors. Uh, which is uh, pretty much a, two, a 4K in, in, in widescreen. Um, you can set this to, um, if you haven't got that good of a performance, you can maybe set it to 1600 by 900, 1600 by 1200. You know, uh, it's not full 1080, but it will be really good to play anyways. And if you still have bad performance, you can go to 1280, 960, you know, and um, even lower. I mean, the resolution will be will be less but that doesn't make the game less fun um, it that is all just up to you and uh, okay we're gonna go to advanced now and you can see lots of options here I'm gonna explain the options that will hog the most performance of course this is my system and every system is different it's hard to say what the bottleneck in your system is um, so uh, you gotta tweak that yourself a little bit but I can give you a general assumption and show you a little bit the way of how it, how it affects performance now first of all vision distance um, 
will take a lot of frames because the more you see and the more it's rendered no, uh, the more intensive it's gonna be so you might not want to set this all the way to the maximum now what is also really hogging as performance wise um, is of course anti-aliasing here and grass detail density is really hogging a performance uh, I would say the grass detail density and um, sun rays are really uh, performance hoggers and as well as SC, SSAO mode um, so these things are uh, performance hogging and you might want to tweak those a little bit what is also uh, intensive is the shadow quality and the lightning distance um, so you might want to not set this all the way to the max if you have a, 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 a a medium or a slower system. You can see that even on my system I, I, I don't have it maxed out um, just to get a good good smooth frame rate. Now um, like I said sun rays are really intensive and uh, they are not really that important so if I wanted to tell you guys what hogs the most performance I would say grass detail density if you put the grass like this it's gonna take a lot of frames and I mean who cares about grass I mean that is just if you really really want everything but if you just want to enjoy the game with a good FPS then that really doesn't matter so um, grass detail density is a graphics hogger FPS hogger sun rays take a lot of FPS in general, general generally speaking SSAO mode take a lot of FPS especially if, if you have an older GPU if you have an older GPU for DirectX 10 um, these are new bells and whistles basically that are not really that well supported yet so they're gonna take a huge amount of FPS for a little bit more quality so you don't want that you don't want to lose 40 FPS setting one setting to high that's ridiculous um, so that is what I mean with hogging um, things that also affect performance bells and whistles like soft water soft particles um, volumetric, li volumetric light um, volumetric smoke can take a lot of performance actually once once people get shooting and uh, explosions happen and that smoke uh, goes on tessellation it depends on your GPU and this is actually uh, better supported so see if you can uh, keep this on and how it runs now I'm gonna set everything to the maximum now and uh, show you guys how it runs on my rig um, I probably have to restart the game though but um yeah you can see here uh, sun quality high oh yeah sun quality is also hogging performance um, so you want to tweak those settings that cost you a lot of FPS just tweak them to like over here the game will still look great the lightning will still be awesome but it's gonna be a little bit closer so um, you know it, it it will just play a lot of better and, and and you still will have a balanced quality game and that's what you want you want that uh, FPS and that quality um, but I'm gonna just set it now to the maximum just to show you guys um, okay um, everything is uh, fully maxed out I think yeah so yeah that's basically it guys um, for this game I recommend Windows 10 64-bit because the fastest OS for stability I recommend Windows 7 if you are uh, uh, a little bit uh, hesitant to use Windows 10 I, have, uh, I come from Windows 7 myself and um, but for AMD especially if you, if you have a bulldozer multi-core CPU there's only one OS you need and that's Windows 10 the other ones are not um, designed for uh, multi-core AMD systems
so you will have uh, just a, a lot slower system and uh, not taking full advantage of the power in the in, the, in those CPUs now uh, that's basically it um, tweak this to your likings and uh, test it out and see if you are around 50 60 FPS that should be the sweet spot for you depending on how what you want to run maybe you have a 100 Hertz monitor or more then you might want to go for 120 FPS I don't know if this game is capped it doesn't look like capped in the menu but um, yeah um, alright I'm gonna hit re uh, apply now and then Oh, I don't even have to restart. Oh, maybe because I didn't load the game yet. Nice. Um, if we go to configuration and then you go to sound, um, there's not much other settings that you can change that uh, take performance. Um, now, as a side note, the usual stuff, clean your system, putting the game on an SSD helps loading and might give you a little bit more performance. Um, yeah, just make sure that that your computer and your hard drives are are defragmented, not your SSD is of course, but uh, that your drivers are up to date, and that kind of stuff. Everything is uh, runtime visuals, uh, DirectX, um, everything is, uh, is 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 updated, and, uh, and, and, and that is uh, that is all always important as a foundation. Okay, this is all good to go. Guys, I'm going to load the game and show you how it looks on Affinity maxed, maxed out. And, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, here you have it. I've turned the sound off, by the way, because Stalker is a little bit weird with the sound. and It, it gives a lot of problems with me talking. This is the game fully maxed out in Affinity. Um, there's actually some uh, hiccups, like um, short uh, freezes. I don't know why that is, but I think that is just a limitation of the X-ray engine, and uh, that just happens, like there. If you can see it, oh, there's something moving. What the hell is that? Anyhow, guys, um, yeah, it would have been uh, better if it was just uh, daylight, and I could have shown you guys how the game looks, um, but it's nighttime at the moment. Um, I'm actually here uh, going to that minefield, and checking out the last uh, crash site. <laughs> and I, I've, I've, I've been blown up by those mines like ten times already, uh, and that sucks really bad. I think I have Binox as well. Um, but yeah, the game looks really, really pretty. Um, this is still one of the best-looking PC games, uh, and the engine is also really good. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of freezing. Um, that is just. Uh, uh, that is just uh, some settings are not really well optimized and uh, on my system uh, it gives you those freezes so that's why I also play with uh, with some tweak settings oh you have one guy there it's it's basically it's unplayable at the moment let's see if we can hit this guy Oh my god, I'm a bad shot. Oh my god! Really? One hit. One hit out of ten. Oh my god. Oh, I got him. But hey, this game is beautiful, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. How this at best performance? I'm not gonna show you that much, uh, but uh, here is just a little bit of the game how it looks right now on maximum. And, uh, yes, beautiful game. And the lightning is just amazing.
it just uh, it's just a really nice game, and I can't wait for Misery 2.3. Uh, I've read the change log, and they're actually gonna make it even harder. But they're also gonna be more more things to tweak, and you can actually put things together and stuff. That is pretty sweet. What the hell is that? Oh, oh, that's not good. That's a that's that's not good. Where's my big gun? That's um, these guys are really strong. Oh. What you want? What you want? Come on. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I think I'm getting destroyed. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? There's a whole... whole. There's a whole... Hey, stop shooting at me, boy. It's a bunch of zombies down there. Okay, it took a couple of them out. Alright. Some enemies right here. Maybe there's some loot. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry, but... What do you guys have? What the hell was he carrying? Old hammer? Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. Flesh meat. <laughs> what what kind of gun is this? It's an over understyle hunting shotgun. Affordable price. I'm just gonna take it because. I actually haven't seen that gun. Maybe I can upgrade it. What is else going on here? What do you have here? Oh, Papa Shaw. Nice. I'm just gonna take that too. What's this? Board chop. Useless. Nothing. Oh, it's starting to rain. Pretty cool, pretty cool actually. Now you can see the rain effects. Looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I don't really feel safe. Only got 60 bullets left. Um, I'm surprised I have no damage. All these guys were shooting at me and I don't have any damage. And I'm not even wearing any armor, I'm just wearing that uh, ecologist vest. I guess those zombies are dead and they can't aim. Lucky for me. Um, Alright guys, a little bit of gameplay. And uh, as you can see here, uh, the game looks really, really good. But unfortunately, it's too dark to see anything. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, best performance guide. If you have any suggestions or comments or just thought that this video was horrible, don't be shy. I can handle it. And uh, I wish you guys all a good week. And I'm going to play some Stalker maybe today. Maybe get some gameplay out. I don't know. This game is awesome. What's over here? I'm going to just save it now. And then I'm going to check that out later. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, um, and take it easy. See ya.